Taurus, I keep hearing Tonya or Tongs. Something to do around meat. Uh, fresh meat is Tong or Bison or something like that, but like meat or the name Tonya. Okay, for some reason. Now, uh, or Reese. Keeping up the name Reese or Rihanna. Uh, Rihanna. Uh, anyway, how are you doing, Taurus? So you can watch this as Sagittarius. Taurus and Sag, because Taurus and Sag are major arcana fives, and I, I, when I read it, I read through numerology, not how you would normally do it. So, if you want to know more about that, you can follow the join button below. So let's see, and this comes out on the join button first, but I'll explain that afterwards. So let's see, Taurus, Taurus, what do you want Taurus to know this week? So five of Pentacles, penny pinching. Struggling with money, okay? Someone may be looking for employment because they don't have any money and they're looking for a job or the name Rob or Robin or Robert, okay, or Rachel. Um, and then you've got the Four of Pentacles that does have money to offer. So this is also like banking and money. So this is someone that possibly has quite a lot of money and this may be someone that doesn't. So this would be your employer if you're looking for employment, Okay, I'm also hearing the name Laura or Lawyer. Some of you might need a solicitor or a lawyer if you're going to court or you've got child services going on and there's some kind of legal representation type sort of stuff is what I'm hearing. Um, some of you, I don't feel like you're blocking out your past. I feel that you're just not, this person here is not, could be a Pisces, but just isn't like, because people can't change. They especially don't change for people that try to keep changing someone. So you've got opposite energy. You've got fives and fours. And I've taught this for ages, that the most complicated energy for a Taurus and a Scorpio is a four and a five, okay? When trying to get through to someone to change them, realizing, well, you're never changing. You're always doing the same thing. I've always tried to get you to change, but now you've left me. I'm on my own. You know, you're on your own. They're on their own. Um, don't forget, though, you can watch this as a Life Path 5, okay, as well. Taurus Sag, Life Path 5. Oh, God, I'm sick to death of having to keep going over that for the newcomers. I'm also hearing someone from Newcastle. Newcastle on Trent, or the name Trent. Terence, Trent Derby, Derbyshire. Someone from up north. Um, let's see, Taurus. We'll also channel a lot of names and things when we continue on with your reading. You see, you've got this four energy here. So if this energy here of Scorpio has a big placement of Scorpio and has a big uh, bank account, and this is the employer, then this is the employee that's looking for a job to give them a job. Okay. Um, you've got a lot of this. Uh, if I don't believe there's a person here that keeps wanting you to change. They might do if they communicate with you to see if you've changed here. But this is going to be someone that has a life path or a Scorpio in their chart. So if you are a Taurus or a Sag and you keep trying to maybe change this person, then I would advise not to do that, okay? Um, because you'll see this person is trying to trying to get through to a brick wall that just isn't listening um let's see taurus so you got the king of swords and the eight of pentacles i had a feeling that this is going to be more to do with work than what it is love life here this can be a new person that is like a colleague or the name colleen colin or Col colleen Sh jolene or jolie um or colin but um I got a feeling that this is more to do with around like this is the business owner, this is the boss, and this is where they work, and this is a person that is being employed by this person here. I think for some of you, you may actually be alone. There isn't really a, a partnership. There's a possible one, or the name Kim. Let's see. Kimberly, Taurus, Two of Cups, ooh, something that could well blossom into something else other than a work colleague. 
this could actually be going on at work. For some of you, if you're the employer, this person might be coming to work for you. If you are the employee, or Steve, but if you are the employee, or Eve, Eve, E-V-E, -E, if you are the employer, then this would be the boss energy that you may have a two of cups, which could be Libra, but it's more of a platonic clinic. Uh, clinic. What am I trying to say? Connection? <laughs> Connect four? Scorpio. Connect the four. So you both have Scorpio in your chart. Two people here. One of you has Scorpio in your chart, and the other one possibly has Scorpio in their chart as well. And this is a new Two of Cups person. This is the, this is the new person here. Because whatever it is that they or you were in, it's not getting on very well. They're not supported financially by someone that they're with. Or this is like the past energy of, I'm not with this person anymore. There might be someone that tries to see if there's a chance to save it. This is a fire sign coming in towards a Scorpio. Right, so let's see. What's the Five of Pentacles here for? For Taurus, the Hermit, and the Ace of Pentacles. A job offer, a stable one, to someone that is a life path nine, Virgo possible, somewhere in their chart, maybe Sagittarius Taurus in their chart, and this is being offered. They've been looking for a job. They've been looking for some money, some extra money. Okay, this is the person that's more than likely going to get employed. So if you're watching this and say, well, blah, 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 it's not me, because it's the star signs, right, <clears throat> and the numerology. They are the ones that are offering, being offered a job. Okay, because they're looking for payday. So what's the four of pentacles? From someone that has Aquarius in their chart or maybe Leo? Ten of Cups, possible Piscean. <clears throat> now, the reason why I read like this is because it's a general reading, and in order to grasp a big grasp of who is who, you basically just follow the rule of thumb. Who are these people? Well, they've got to have this in their chart in order for this reading to relate to you more. Or Law, or Laura, okay, or Lucy, or a Lucifer, Capricorn. Anyway, regardless... This is destiny. <clears throat> it's taking place where somebody is about to employ someone here, the Knight of Wands. This could end up turning into two people that have a connection at work, physically at work. Okay. Because it could be a friendship, you see. The Knight of Wands can be someone that I've just met or someone that I know of. And we get on really well. We're always talking like really fast communication and blah, blah, blah. And then this kind of happens here. So what is the Knight of Wands? The lovers, Gemini or Capricorn in one's chart and the tower. This person very is very flirtatious, very flirtatious. There could be a lot of this touchy-feely type sort of um, flirting kind of behavior going on between you two here. The tower is more of a um, sex, like maybe a one night stand for someone or just like flirting or, or actual sex and a one night stand. But whatever it happened, whatever it is, this comes in in order to shake up someone's foundation. Like their whole life is kind of changing now here because somebody has come in and sparked someone's interest, or the name Mark, but it sparked their interest. Some of you, there's this investment of money, of like spark of interest. A little bit of money or something. What is the death card here for? Hangman, Pisces. There's my chart. Um, Knight of Pentacles. So it's coming in slow. Somebody that may be struggling financially, 
it might be the person that wants to come and work, but this is a stable offer regardless. It means that it's an offer of something that isn't going to leave you. It's not going to go. It's stable. It's grounded. It's a practical, stable offer. Okay. So if you're into business and stuff like this, you guys, if you're into business, like for me, I do now, this is the reason why I don't do tariffs so much is because I'm now part owner of a fast food franchise. So we've been looking to employ people and whatnot, right? If you guys are down that avenue and this reading, you want it to be about business at the moment, this is where you negotiate terms and conditions of agreements of rent and buildings and putting in an offer of something that grows, right? Like say you've got a building, you put in an offer, there it is, there's a stable offer, now you've got work. Okay, a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. Because this is where things need, where it's slowed down a little, but then all of a sudden things start happening and then you've got to put in the work here. What's the King of Swords here for? Yeah, this person's extremely honest. They're also looking for a commitment. This, if you, if you or they don't have one already, okay, this is a bachelor. This King of Swords can be someone that is like a CEO, a business owner, or I don't know, they can do multiple things like tarot card readings and own a company, right? Or they do both or one or the other. But this is a company owner, okay, a boss. They're honest. They are also looking for a female if they don't have one. They're looking for partnership. Could be someone that possibly has Virgo in their chart. Meaning, here's the Virgo energy, okay, Earth sign. That's the offer of someone that comes in, life path nine or something, and then that ends up being the female and the male communicating in certain ways, maybe around work. Okay, so and unless you're actually in a couple already and you're with someone, but there is someone coming into the fold if they're already here. But don't forget, this is a week in advance or three days in advance, two days in advance on the join button. So if this has already happened and you like my readings, I hope you consider spending the three or four dollars to get them in advance. Watch the Eight of Pentacles from the join button below. Eight of Pentacles is the Three of Swords and the Magician. Okay, so someone wants to manifest this, but I believe that this person may already be in a commitment, possibly with this male. Like, because this, this is not man, it's men. It's not women, woman, it's women. Same as this, right? There's loads of elements and numerology that relate to these. <clears throat> Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, right? Sixes, eights, right? <clears throat> Same here. So... Somebody could already be with a male. And something starts to go on at work. Now, if this isn't a platonic love interest that starts to hurt, this is somebody that is possibly all about to be let go of, right? At work. Meaning replacing someone with someone, right? Can also be that I'm with someone, but I've also got a connection with you as well. Why is this two of cups? Wow. So there's another woman here now. Six of cups, the chariot, driving job, and a page of wands. Okay, so there's a few messages now. There could be a man that has two women, and one of them is from the past separated not really talking maybe now and again but more interested in another woman okay the other woman that the male is interested in she possibly has a relationship already six of cups could also have children <clears throat> and the two of cups is what they have with this guy but they already have the six, meaning that they're already committed in a relationship with somebody. But they also, at the same time, they have this two of cups. Now, if this is Sagittarius, that is also you. Taurus, Sagittarius, 
life path five, right? Meaning here. So we go back to the beginning of the timeline. Five of Pentacles could have Virgo in their chart, maybe, offered a job here, but the person is already in a commitment and a relationship, possible Libra. Okay. They're driving or a driving job or driving over to see someone, but maybe not telling the person that they are with that they also have this connection with someone at work, right? It's kind of like, I don't know, because it, it, it can be both. It can be where this is where I'm not telling anybody that I've also got a connection, but I've also got a relationship or they know I've got a relationship, but the person that I'm in a relationship with doesn't know that I also have a connection with someone, right? Depends. Because this can mean children and clients, <clears throat> but it can also mean that it's just friends. Like we have a connection, yes, but it can only be friends because I have a six of cups. I'm already with someone. So I can't commit to you into a relationship, even though we've got two of cups, we can only really be friends. That's all. But then it's more along this lines of like, okay, well, if that's good with me and that's good with you, then I don't know. Let's see what happens later on down the line by being just friends. Cancers sometimes like being friends for a long time first. Could also be possible Libra energy. Okay. Okay. Because that's what brings in this three, you see. It brings in this, not complication, but it brings in the fold to someone new that someone sparks a, a connection with that could be flirtatious. Libra energy here, they can get a lot of connections because they relate to the Two of Cups, which means that sometimes they can have a lot of people <clears throat> that they flirt with, okay, and someone forms a connection with them because they are a two, Okay, that's why a lot of people gravitate sometimes towards Libra energies, and they can have these connections that people have, but possibly already in a connection here. <clears throat> okay, um, so let's see. Taurus. Any messages for Taurus? Anger issues, five and nine. Well, there's the five, and there's the nine. So someone is extremely angry and annoyed, maybe because they're watching someone that isn't opening up because of gaslighting and God knows what else. Now, this situation also changes now because the person, if being employed, energy is here. Okay. Sag, five, Sag, five, and that be you. You've got it in your chart and you're being employed. That could be the fact that they're in a commitment already, but it's very, like, they don't get support financially from anybody. They do it alone on their own. They're more than likely on their own, but they have some kind of... Okay. <laughs> so I'm seeing something else now. They may be in a commitment or relationship, but they may also be separated from that person that they were in a commitment with because that can mean divorce and separated. But the reason why this is the six is because we've got children together. Children are actually involved in this scenario that leads to this curiosity of someone. I'm very curious about someone Let's see. Um, because if there's a reconciliation with the past, somebody here wants to reconcile because they're being avoided and they don't have this emotional response anymore. There's no, um, what do you call, like with narcissism, it's more of a, <clears throat> um, a narcissistic supply of energy because you're blocking me and you're not open anymore and I'm getting angry and pissed off because you keep avoiding me, <laughs> right? Because I can't seem to connect with you anymore. So if there is a conversation that happens between exes, it kind of goes along the lines of that. 
I really don't think I want to do this anymore. You've been trying to change me for fucking ages, realizing that I'm not going to, and you are not going to change me and I will be who I am. And that's that. Whether you like it or whether you don't, I am who I am. Right. And I think that if this happens as a conversation between exes, that is kind of how the conversation goes. I love talking to you. <laughs> so they're different because people do not love talking to people that have serious anger issues, right? So that's different. That brings in this three energy. I love talking to you. Could be someone new that is going through this and they're consiling, reconciling. Consiling or reconciling? Okay, so <laughs> spirit saying that you knew this person from quite a while ago. So it's not more of a consoling one another it's an old soulmate of someone that you possibly met a long time ago or that you've been with before and you've kind of gone with someone else and now that another person that you knew from the past is back <laughs> kind of what the spirit's saying so anyway regardless i love talking to you because we could also be talking about all the shit that we've been through in life and how bad our or my relationship has been that's kind of leading us to having more of a connection. Because anger issues can also be someone that has trust issues. Okay. And I'm consoling and talking to you about my partner that has God knows how many trust issues. And it's leading me in order to be interested in someone else. Let's see. So if any of you guys are out there that have trust issues and you have a partner that said that they're sick to death of it and that they can't, they just can't do that anymore. They can't live under this umbrella of being psychoanalyzed of like, you know, what's wrong with you and, and God knows what else and you're sick of it. Then your partner could well be talking to another person here. Taurus. This could be the one. Well, this person's trying to manifest the one here because that's where the one is. Could be. Could be something that grows into something more. Now, like I said, because this Six of Cups might not mean the fact that this person actually has a relationship. It might mean that they're a single mother. They're an actual single mother, and the Six of Cups really just means family. They're a mother and they have family, which means that they have kids that live at home with them, right? And you might be meeting up with this person. They could actually be at a distance and they are single. They just have family and you get a two of cups that can lead into this six of cups. There's another possibility there. Taurus, I bet everybody's clicked off and missed all the main messages. <laughs> Cinder fucking rather thread party tea party. Ah, it's kind of possible here. Eloise, Ella May, Ella, Stella, someone that drinks alcohol. Now it could be a metaphysical third energy. Let's see, Taurus. Oh, really? Flirting. I think about you sexually. I told you there's this flirtatious behavior that's kind of going on with with someone and they're flirting with people and i believe that the person that one of them is single they're flirting with someone but possibility the person that they're flirting with may not actually be single but they're flirting <laughs> so you know harmless fun i'm sure as long as people don't start getting their feelings all wrapped up and because this Two of Cups can get stronger, you see. This Two of Cups can start leading into a metaphysical experience of lesson of something where I've got such a connection with you that I've now gained over a period of time, but you're now actually with someone as well, and now I have to remain connected to someone that's in a relationship, right? So there you go. So, thanks very much, guys. Really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't take all messages as truth because some of them are very close to 
others that are kind of similar, okay? <clears throat> See how it goes. If this happened already, then you might consider joining my join button below where you get this two or three days in advance and so on and so forth. That won't happen all of the time, but that is what I'm kind of doing at the moment. So if you wish to join, it's two or three dollars. Thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate it. See you soon.